Have you run into this? You want to extend a drive in Windows, maybe the C drive. And even though you have unallocated space, the extend volume option is grayed out. In this video, we'll go over why this happens, the basics of how partitions work, and how to fix the problem without losing your data. Let's first define unallocated space. It's disk space not assigned to any partition, like unused land on your hard drive. To extend a partition in Windows, this space must be directly next to the target partition on the right. If it's not, the extend volume option will be grayed out. For example, if unallocated space is to the right of the G drive, only G drive can be extended. Sometimes a hidden system or recovery partition may block the space. And for system drives like C, Windows adds extra restrictions. To solve this, you'll need a tool that can move partitions and safely resize volumes even when the unallocated space isn't in the right place. One tool that handles this really well is EaseUs Partition Master. It lets you reposition unallocated space, extend C drive even when blocked by system partitions, resize partitions without deleting data, and preview changes before applying anything. Let's walk through how to use it, just download it via the link in the description and then open. Here you can see the C drive and the unallocated space with the G drive in between. No problem. With this tool, we can freely manage and allocate the space. Select the C drive and click Resize Move. Now we can allocate all the unallocated space to the C drive. Execute the task, hit Apply, and let the tool do the work. And then you just need to wait for a second. Okay, everything is ready now. And that's it. A few clicks and your C drive is extended. It's straightforward and saves you a lot of time. Now, you might be wondering, why can't we just do this with the built-in Windows Disk Management tool? Well, here's the thing. Windows Disk Management has strict rules. Unallocated space must be directly beside the drive you want to extend. If not, use a third-party tool that gives you more control. Whether you're cleaning up storage, fixing low disk space warnings, or prepping for software updates, learning basic partition management really helps. If this helped, give it a like and feel free to drop your questions in the comments. You'll find links to tools and guides in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tech tip.